movement is basically a repeat of movement 34. We just have a different transition into it. So it should be pretty easy to pick up once we learn how to get into it from our last movement. I'm going to begin as if I had started the form facing you. Our last movement left us with our feet together, our weight even between the legs, and our knees bent. And we were turned off toward the east with the left hand up, palm toward us, the right hand down, palm toward the floor, and our torso turned in that direction. From here, our hands are going to change, basically just like they did in movement 34, wave hands like clouds to the right, which is what we're repeating here. It's just instead of getting into it from single whip, where the hands change, left goes down, right comes up, we're getting into it from wave hands like clouds to the left. So our left hand is up, the right hand is down, the right's going to come up, the left is going to go down. So the right arm ends up rounded like we're hugging an exercise ball. The left hand is palm down. As we're changing the hand, so our last movement left us with the left arm up. As we're bringing the right hand up and dropping the left, we're going to step again to the west with our right foot this time. So from the end of our last movement, the hands are going to change. And as they change, I'm going to pick up the heel of the right foot, then pick up the toe. Step out, gently touch the floor with the toe. Set the heel down. Shift the weight even between the legs and then rotate across using the body to bring the arms back over toward the west side of the body. From our last movement, turning toward the left side of the body or toward the east, the left hand drops, the right comes up, and I step out toward the west with my right foot touching with the toe. Set the heel down, shift the weight so it's even between the legs, twist across toward the west, imitating the motion that we did two movements ago in movement 34. Wave hands like clouds to the right. This is also called wave hands like clouds to the right because it's a repeat of that movement here. From our last move of the form, we're turning off toward the east or toward the left. The hands change. I step straight out to the right with my right foot touching with the toe, setting the heel down. From here, I shift my weight so it's even between the legs and turn my body to bring the arms over toward the west or toward the right side of my body. Again, from our last movement, we were turning off toward the east. The hands change. As the left goes down and the right comes up, I step out to the right with my right foot touching with the toe, setting the heel down, shifting the weight so it's even between the legs, and pivoting to bring the arms across. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I'd started this form facing away from you. So directly away from you is south, to my right is west, to my left is east. The last movement of this form left us with our feet together, the knees bent, left hand up, right hand down, turned toward the east or toward the left side of the body. As the hands change, I step out to the right with my right foot. Shift the weight so it's even between the legs, shift and turn. Again from our last movement, turning toward the east or toward the left side of the body, the left hand drops, the right comes up, and I step out. Shift the weight so it's even between the legs and turn toward the west or toward the right side of the body. Now I'm going to demonstrate as if I'd started the form facing this way. So this is south for me, directly toward you is east, away from you is west. The last movement of the form left us with our feet facing to the south, knees bent, left arm up, right arm down, turn toward the east. From here we're going to change the arms so the right comes up, the left goes down, and step out to the right with the right foot. Shift the weight and turn. Again from our last movement, turning toward the left side of the body or toward the east. Drop the left hand down, palm down, bring the right hand up, palm toward you. As you're doing that, step out with the right foot, touching with the toe. Set the heel down, shift the weight, and then body motion, pivot the arms across toward the west or toward the right side of the body. From our last movement, the arms are sweeping across to the left side. From here, the left is going to turn, palm down and press down. The right is going to turn, palm toward you, and sweep up. So we're back to the right arm holding that exercise ball with the shoulder relaxed. Left hand, palm toward the floor. So it comes across. Change the hands as you step out. And then turn toward the right side. Right arm rounded, palm of the left hand toward the floor. That's all for the 36th movement of this form. I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you for watching.